Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This week we're doing something different. You guys have been asking for a very, very long time to come to one of my lessons, see how I train, uh, to see the kind of regime I have with Emporio. So today I've come to Emily's Halting. She's about an hour and a half away from home, as you can hear, Emporio wants to get out. Um, and we're gonna be taking you on what a lesson looks like for me and Emporio, what we work on, what we practice. And you guys are gonna get a bit of a more, not a hands-on experience, but you're gonna be there with me on the sideline to see how it all goes. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So hopefully there's not too much of that today. We're gonna take him out, cause he was, he's been kind of banging the whole way. Um, Emporio is still very young and he doesn't have much experience coming out and doing uh, things like this, even though he's done a lot already. So, we just got him out, we're gonna attack him up here and then we're gonna go inside and wait for Emily as soon as she's ready. We'll start the lesson. Hey buddy. Long trip, huh? Take all these boots off. It's stopped raining now. Good boy, you've been here before. I can, uh, I can keep putting his stuff on because we have about 10 minutes. <laughs> you've been running a little bit late. Thank God, I brought just boots because it's, we had, nobody has time for that. Thank you. It's brand new, I still need to take the sticker off. Good boy. Good boy. Now we have our sheep skin. And our Kingsley saddle. Now this is the most satisfying bit when you take the plastic off of the, a new saddle cloth. <laughs> and then I put it in my boot because that's when I don't have, when I have rubbish. I don't like to throw it anywhere, so I just put it in my boot. <laughs> So Emporio being a four year old is experiencing a lot already and as you guys can see he's super chilled when he arrives to these places. We've had a few lessons with Emily before so he is kind of familiar with it which is good and it's just about doing more things with him like this so it all becomes normal and in the future we're not going to run into any problems because he's going to be well, he's going to have to have some good exposure. Good boy. Easy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she's like, oh, different day, different color, I see. And they're brand new, so they still need to get a bit of shape in them. Good boy. Good boy. One more. I'm ready. Got my helmet. I'm glad that all my horses, I can say, are super chilled because with a lot of four year olds, you cannot just do this, especially when they're a stallion. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, what we do now is we can walk through the barn and we're just gonna wait for uh, Emily to be ready for us at the entrance. And when she is, we can meet her, say hello. For uh, you guys that don't, some of you might not know, you should know, <laughs> Emily's an amazing rider. Uh, she's ridden several Grand Prix horses, I, I presume for the, the majority of her later years now. Um, and she's had a lot of successes and is rep currently representing the Netherlands. So, <laughs> we're in good hands. She's already helped me so much with Emporio. She does have some experience teaching him. Uh, and so today we're gonna practice what we usually do. Um, and of course, it always depends a little bit on how his mood is and how his training has been going at home. So we're probably gonna have a quick recap uh, and then we're gonna begin. But let's go inside because we're probably ready for time, I think. He does react a little bit of, of, of other horses, so I'm just gonna keep him calm, easy, and, um, and we'll just get on. Uh, yeah, maybe, thank you. Hello. Hello. How are you going? Good, and you? I'm good. <laughs> I'm very happy and excited to be back. He was a little bit excited coming here, but apart from that, Oh, but that's doing, good. Yeah, but that's kind of normal for his age. Um, I'll keep walking. Yeah, you have to go, you have to go. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I've just been practicing what you've been telling me and engaging the trot a little bit and also keeping him connected in the beginning. Um, and that's all been going kind of good. Yeah, yeah. better. Okay. And with the, with the trot, you can get a little bit more like uh, that he keeps carrying himself? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, more head carriage, like self-carriage. Yeah. Um, 
And then also uh, more sitting and more expression. It's been going really well. Okay, great. Yeah, and a lot more connected. But it's good to it's good to remind them to connect to the back at the beginning, like what you said. Yeah. Maybe try to bring him a little bit back. Oh, a little bit with your voice. Oh, that's good. Because you want them to be relaxed, but if they are a little bit nervous, then okay, <laughs> yeah. you have to try to have a little bit focus on you too. Yes. Better. And if you think, uh, I don't know exactly anymore, but if it's on the left easier, then start on the left. But yeah, this should be the easier side, I think. Okay, then start on the on the left side. Okay, and you need to take your time in the in the warm up with him, and when he's loose and a little bit more warm, then we start with the with the more trot. But for now, just try to, uh, yeah, make him go down a little bit more. That's good. That's good. There, there. Yeah. Okay. Change the ring. Sometimes when you feel, I'm I'm trying to make a little bit bending and. It, you feel it's still a little bit hard on the on the inside, then you can try to make him bend even a little bit more for me. Okay. Oh, don't go too fast. So I can kind of exaggerate the bend. Yeah. Oh boy. Because sometimes with him, because he likes to take the outside rain, but then he takes a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that becomes a bit of a problem. It's more that you see it a little bit in the mouth, that he's uh, a little bit holding. Yeah. So sometimes you can make him... Okay, on the left side now I, I see it again. Okay, it's a little bit harder that he doesn't um, put the haunches to the right. Yeah. And now try to do it on the side. So a little bit bending left on the side. And you can think a little bit about doing travers, but don't do it. <laughs> That's it. So keep the his shoulders to the to the side. So you don't want the haunches to the side that he can still uh, yeah, go out with to the right. So that's why you use your outside rein and outside leg a little bit. And now even more his neck to the to the side. And then with the bending. That's better. Yeah that is actually yeah. and then you can even do it more with the neck to the side. Now you see he gets more relaxed and now you can ride a little bit more. Good. His neck is getting much, much better. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, make a circle. Okay, this is... Keep riding, keep riding. Yeah. Okay, and for me, then don't tap him. Yeah. Just keep riding. Hey. Yeah, for the stallions, this is perfect that it happens a little bit because this is what he needs to learn. Super. And he's staying pretty focused on you, but also a little bit on what's happening over there. But I'm glad that horse is there. <laughs> it's good to practice. When you feel uh, he wants to go a little bit to the horse over there, then just try to, uh, that you keep going to the right and then a little bit, um, oh, it's so hard sometimes in the English. That you focus a little bit on your outside rein with the turning. Yes. Yeah, but then, yeah, you do with your right hand a little bit like, uh. yeah, good. Yeah, good job. There. Good. Make the circle a little bit smaller again. And then you do the leg yield out, but not so fast uh, to the uh, sideways. So you can do like three rounds and then a little bit. That's good. It's a little bit the same what you did on the side, but now make it bigger again. Good, good. And now you go straight again. That was good. Good nice. boy. Yeah, try to sit on the right. Good. Sometimes when you look in the mirror in front of you, then try, sometimes you see the inside uh, hind leg and try to keep that under. That's it. Yeah. Stay on the side. Yeah, okay. Oh, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Yeah. But even when he's a little bit nervous about it, don't... Okay, just go there. 
Just see what happens. Yeah. Good. Nice strut. Try to bring him a little bit back. Stay on the side with the front legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now a little bit bending again. Left hand to the right. There. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y you're almost there. It's <laughs> it's behind his ears. So that's why that's where he's um, tilting the head. The only thing is when you um, make the whole horse going to the left, then it doesn't work. So you have to try to keep the front legs on the side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, do a little bit left canter. Oh, doesn't matter. Ah, it's not because in the canter, he's not doing it. The the tilting of the head. It's only in the trot. Yes. Would you say the tilting of the head is a little bit of like resistance to the contact? Um, well, I don't know. Be sometimes it's also a little bit something in the mouth or okay, they're young and maybe a little bit with the teeth or yeah. Can be anything. It's like a process. <laughs> it, it, it will be it will be fine, but but it's something you have to focus uh, on. Yeah, good job. This is really nice. Okay, and let him walk for a... Good. He's definitely the kind of horse that like, as a stallion, he's really not triggered by anything, but sometimes just other horses yeah. are such a distraction. And sometimes it depends on the horse also, huh? Yeah, it does. It does. Because and it's not with him, he's, he's not getting doing crazy or something, but okay, it's a little bit like uh, that he stays with you. Yeah, no, exactly. And okay, uh, I think when they are a stallion, they, they have to do something. I mean, otherwise it's not a stallion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it does add this extra bit of fun in yeah, the day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do like it. Like, even though it's a bit intense sometimes. No, it's... and he's not getting stupid or... No, no, I trust him. He's, yeah. you know, nothing, nothing's no, gonna happen. No, you see that, yeah. We try a little bit with the whip. <coughs> yeah, I think that's a good idea. What you need to learn him, okay, he's young, but you can think a little bit about doing passage. Yeah. And not that you're actually doing it, but that he makes the moment of carrying longer. That's it. Good. Oh. And it's not about tension, but uh, yeah. Learning how to stay more on the hind leg. That's it. Try to feel a little bit with the whip. Good. Good. Touch him a little bit, doesn't matter. Just keep doing it a little bit. Yeah, good. Good. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you feel a little bit more in your hand. Okay, that's normal, huh? When you get when yes. you try this a little bit better. And now you try to go out a little bit. But don't uh, you 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 try to hold the same rhythm. Even you go a little bit more forward. Better. Yeah, mooi. Oh, sorry, that was Dutch. When you feel um, the tempo is not yours anymore, a little bit rounder, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Good, good. Much better. You're almost in the... Yeah, we call it the second trot in, uh, in Dutch, but then you feel that you have it more connected. Much better. And then I also think his front, um, front legs are more quiet or how do you say like yeah that is doesn't look so um crazy <laughs> yeah i don't know how to say yeah try to hold the front legs on the side uh yeah and not shoulder in like the other way more like travers uh oh yeah that's it that's it that's better and then use the corners to the left huh uh think so uh travers there, there. Then you have him straight. So think a little travers. Much better. Good. Yeah, this is this this is hard, but you're doing much better than in the beginning now. Yeah. Good. Not too high in the neck. Not too high. Yes. Okay. And make him. Um, a little bit rounder and lower again. Yeah, like the way you started. Good. Yeah. Ooh. Nice trot now. Yeah, super. 
Ja, ja. Daar. Oké, okay, en try to go to walk. Oei. Good. Oké, okay, nu is hij een beetje meer excited because of the other horse in the walk. But the trot, it's really coming. Ja, yeah, it's a lot better. Ja. Yeah. But what you said about the bending is very good. What we were saying about the, the trot, and I always get this feeling that he has to be like in the canter shoulder in feeling. Yeah. I have that same feeling in the trot, but I think it's just because I've yeah, been... Yeah, but you're doing I've the shoulder in, in the canter on the right. Yeah. So on the left, it's the opposite. Oh, yeah. That's why you have to do a little bit travers. Because okay. it, I think it has to, to, to do with the right hind. But do you think, so the travers you would only do on the left? On the left. Yeah, not on the right, because then he's pushing the haunches a little bit in. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because that's, yeah, a little bit shoulder in on the right and yeah, no, a little makes bit sense. travers on the right. But what do you think is the difference between a horse in roll curve and a horse that's behind the vertical? and a horse that's too deep. Because yeah. I think there's a very different yeah. spectrum well, in that. Yeah, whole query, I, I uh, yeah, for me, I, I don't even know almost what it is because I think it's so deep and round, we never do it. But yes. like with a horse like this, with so much neck, you have to sometimes make it a little bit rounder, but it doesn't, yeah, I think when you sit on it, you feel the difference. Yes. It's not that you uh, want to make him go, so around because you want it because the horse needs it. Yes, because I, with uh, with the way he's built. Yeah, uh, that's well, there. When yeah. the horse has a neck like this, then you don't do it. But yes. because he's so uphill built, you have yeah. to do it a little because bit. Because that's it's like what you said. I only feel like I can connect the back in this age when he is a little yeah. bit more collected and behind, yeah. and he naturally will go behind. Yeah, like by himself. But he's not so much behind. Yeah. It is, and you do it because you know what you're doing. Yes. That's no, important, exactly. that is, you know, I make him a little bit rounder and I know he's a little bit too round and too deep. Yes. But for now I need it and then I can open him again. Yes, no, exactly. But there are also people, they don't know what to do and then... And they just pull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the difference. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm gonna give him a bit of a cool down because he's worked really hard, but he was good. He was really good. Boy. <laughs> so how do you think it went? I think it was really good, no? I think it was also really I good. I was here the first time I had a lesson. And yeah. now again, and I think every time you just see such a big difference. And I don't know, he just looks really cool. But and also the ending. Yeah. He really like. He was lifting more, but that's, that's why for me, it's also nice for me to have this video, to like look back and see it. So much of what Emily said is, you ride the horses every day and you need somebody on the ground that can kind of guide you and say, no, it's actually, it, it, mm. it feels different than what it looks. But I think she's really calm. Like I really like sitting next to her because I could learn yeah, myself. Yeah, she's super chill. she's really calm and just says like. Gave me laugh when she was like, not that much extended canter. But I was ready to go for <laughs> a gallop. Had to laugh the whole time. <laughs> I was ready to go for a gallop. No, but I think he, also like his body just looks so cool and good. Yeah, I but think. he came a long way. And I think, you know, the topic we hit at the end, I think is one that is very important. I mean, yes. you can really see for him if he does this, very important. then it just looks very different than what it is, I think. And yeah. if you have him a little bit more, then you also need to train him. If I want to be like a gymnast, I can't just do this and expect I can do the split. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you have to <sighs> work them in the right way for their body type. And that's why going to somebody that's an expert like Emily yes. really helps you and gives you reassurance that you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing. But there's and, a um, difference between forcing them, I think, and just really training. Yeah, and uh, I think it's just, you know, they don't know, naturally they're not built to carry a human. And so you have to kind of teach them the best way for their body to do that. Um, and uh, it's hard. It's a, it's a fine line, but I'm confident in my oh, training. Oh, you're really good, I And think. I'm confident in Emily that what we're doing is correct. Oh, but for sure, like, you really see, like, even with him, otherwise you would, like, resist or, like, yes. I think everything goes really good step by yeah. step. And you just see how he goes. I don't yeah. know, I just really impressed. Because I personally it think makes it's me laugh. But the other way, if you swap it around, I think it's much more cruel to ride a horse with its head out and its hollow in the back and you're just hitting into the kidneys. Oh, of course. Like, I think that's way into the lungs. I'm not sure what's up there right now. <laughs> just but I, I was already like, what? I think that's way worse. 
you oh, know. Oh, for sure, 100%. Good boy. No, but I think he just looked really good and I think he is having fun with everything. And but he loves I am just work. really impressed how much power he has. Like, he just <laughs> keeps going. Yeah. There's no stopping you, huh? And it also oh. meant, um, it also meant a lot to me also that um, Emily was like at the second trot's coming because that's so cool and mm -hmm. I've never really had a horse that I could do that with. So. I was wondering when you had the lesson, I wonder how it would be to have a lesson with Chase here. <laughs> yeah, oh we should do it maybe. She, she's like, what's this horse? Oh, <laughs> she's, she's well thank you guys so much for joining us on this lesson. I hope you were able to learn something. I know a lot of you were asking to come and join for a lesson so I hope this was interesting. Um, we have something. a lot of cool videos coming up in the next following weeks so make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe to Yes's channel as well. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.